Welcome to another episode of Satisfactory. On this episode, we are going to be laying down 143 assemblers to pump out 285 modular frames per minute. Now, before we get too far into it, an update from uh, the previous video on the reinforced iron plates. Back over here, um, well here, okay, I, I'm getting dizzy, sorry about that. Okay, right down there, We've got the four lanes here on the left, um, 780s. This one, along with that lone screw line right there that keeps stopping every now and then, it's going all the way to the far end for the nine assemblers that are way down there. Now, what happened was each of these lines right here put out 520. So we got one there and one tucked in underneath there. Um, I needed 780 per line going over to feed all of them. So what I did, and oh my gosh, it, it was embarrassing. Oh, I was cringing. But um, so what I did is I came down here, got some splitters, took the top line, boom, had it go up. And then it goes off into there because now each of these lines at 520. So we take 520 divided by 780. That's 0 0.6666667. Okay, two thirds. Well, if we've got two thirds up here also, um, I or I should say from down here because this goes all the way to the back. So I took the two thirds, uh, split it, boom boom, going up, and one one third or one half of that one third oh my god the math okay so basically it splits the one third uh okay we have two thirds down there there we go two thirds there one third goes up here to merge with that one so now it is three thirds a full belt and same with that top one got that taken care of then um that worked out quite nicely and oh my god what what a savings on that oh and uh then i also did it down here well wait wait, wait. now i'm getting confused okay one line goes up there oh that's right <laughs> oh jesus wow okay one line is doing it here the other line's doing it down there oh my gosh all right so that got all that plumbed out this has been working out really good everything is not completely saturated but these screw lines have been going non-stop and everything else has been doing just quite nicely. Now, what also happened, and I found this out uh, probably after about an hour and 10 minutes of letting the reinforced factory plate run. Um, the math that, that I did and was going on, I did not have enough iron screws left over, or iron rods, I should say, uh, which was 8,000, yeah, 8,866. I'm like, what the hell's going on? Everything I did working backwards for the rotors, the screws, and the reinforced iron plates, it, it the math was working. 8,866. I was like, what the hell's going on? So instead of trying to count each uh, machine again and do the uh, math and everything, I said, you know what? Screw it. So I added... I was I was short like I think I was like 50 or so of the um, iron rods so I just put in eight more machines right here each one pumps out 15 we got 30 60 120 more going I think oh I think I'm over a hundred uh, over by 50 iron rods now which that's fine it was just a lot simpler and easier to set that up so then now for the assemblers for um, the uh, modular frames, uh, we've got a line here for 600 and 600 plus one here for 195 and that leftover way the hell down there from the screws, it's going to be coming out with 366. Actually, 366.125, but I'm just going to round it. 366. Now, Without using alternate recipes, I think I've only used, yeah, I've only used two. The pure copper alloy ingot and uh, eventually the plutonium fuel unit. So, 
Uh, production. Assembler. Boom. This is going to take... Uh, boop. Come here to modular frames. Boom. All right. Here's the recipe for it. Now, going after 12 of the phase four products or uh, items let's see here we're going to need 285 modular frames per minute so that's how it came it comes out to 142.5 assemblers but i'm going to say 143 so iron rods that's the big one 12 per minute and if we've got 142.5 times 12 that's 1710 iron rods per minute coming through now using the 780 line and it takes 12 per minute we could have 65 assemblers being fed by one mark 5 belt um e yeah that's half of them so we only need two lines two full lines of iron rods coming in or two wait wait actually let's let's do some quick math here let's see what was it 1710 uh divided by 780 oop not 7000 there it is oh 2.19 belts okay yeah uh we've got it so um yeah and then the uh reinforced iron plates they're all coming out over here and that container filled up nicely uh, we are running at, uh, let's see, reinforced iron plates are 565 per minute. And there's 113 assemblers here pumping it out. And everything is working at 100%. I'm going to let this uh, go during this build and see how it affects the uh, my computer system and the game engine and just see what the hell happens because uh, half of this is running with the screw production. All right, now one third, we'll call it one third. And then we've got the smelters producing the ingots and then the ingots being turned into iron rods and iron rods going into screws and yeah, it's, and then, oh, and then ingots going into iron plates and iron plates and the screws coming in here to make the reinforced iron plates. Oh man, but the thing is this whole ironworks assembly factory will have to be turned on to produce all those base four items eventually i don't think i want to be here when i flip the switch to turn all of this on but um i did uh get some uh blueprints done let's see where is modular frames here on the right hand side okay boom now i'm gonna plop it right here on the corner is that how we want it? Yep. And boom. Now, these three lanes right here will be for feeding this entire setup. Um, I think I'm going to be able to get down 13, 9, 12. I don't know how many is going to fit out here. Well, actually, let's see here. Uh, if we're going to have 142, well, we're, we'll call it 143. 143 uh, if we divide by four mm, okay how about eight yeah we'd have oh my god if we only had eight of them there you know what let's go uh, I think we can put 16 in yeah so if we put 16 of them in we'll have uh, nine rows of uh, assemblers okay let's try that and Blueprint mode, Ooh, and I hope I've got enough uh, stuff for it. Okay, oh, come on, turn that way. There we go. So there's six, nine, twelve. Uh oh, what am I missing? What am I missing? Overlapping clearances occur. Clipping may occur. Well, I've got I've got everything. What the hell? Oh, I guess I will have to take uh, this down. Okay. All right, you're being shut down. There's fifteen. 
Ooh. What if we do 18? Can we fit 18? If 18 goes right there, that'll leave us. Yeah, because we would just need uh, one lane coming out. Oh, but then we've got those to deal with right there. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I think we could sneak the stuff underneath there. Yeah, because it's only an output. Okay, oh, and plus uh, we're going to be going on the both sides of that rock formation. Kind of like how we did over here. So we'll have a gap to work with. So if we need to send more belts down, we can sneak them by on, both, on either side. Okay. Because I just wanted to get over here and tie into this cliff side. So it did it. All right. So let's go. Yeah, we'll go 18. 18 assemblers set up here. Oop. Oh my gosh, and I hope that one pillar holds it up. Oh, oh well. The architects and the engineers said yes, it will hold it. So let's find out. Um, so we're going to have 18 right there. Okay. So now if we go, um, let's see, 143 divided by 18. Okay, we're going to have eight rows of assemblers set up. All right, now uh, here at the other end, since uh, that was the right hand side, and I have a blueprint for three modular frames. L is for left hand side. Let's uh, go this way and boom. There we go. Yes, that's the second row. There. Wow. Yeah, the belt work should be a hell of a lot easier than this down here. Okay. And let's get another right hand side. So that's two. I'm, I know I'm going to run out of material here really quick. Yeah, the quick wire. Oh, the quick wire and the reinforce. No, yeah, reinforced iron plates. This will be the last one I can put, uh, put down before I have to go and uh, resupply. Okay, so there's, boom. So that's one, two, three rows. Uh-oh, how, how, how did you get off by one? Interesting. Hmm. That lined up. Oh, this is, oh, this did not come in tight. Okay, well, either way, I'll finish laying this out, and I'll see everybody in two seconds. There it is. Just to keep things simple, went with eight rows of 18 assemblers each instead of trying to do the 142.5. There is now 144 assemblers here. Going to put out modular frames. Um, I know it's a pretty gross sight, but hey, it is what it is. Okay, now, uh, usually I'd go ahead and connect all the belts up and, um, you know, and connect the wire connections also. And I... In the blueprint, I do not have that uh, ceiling, so it makes it really easy. So this is what I do in between. I'll just take it from here, run it on over, and grab the next one, and yada, 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 and I'll, all the way down the line. Then I'll come in here, and I'll start connecting the belts together. And just work my way through. In fact, let me finish this uh, section. Now, we need to get... Uh, let's see, what, what do we got? We got uh, three reinforced iron plates. Okay, so if we have 144 constructors, and each one takes three... <laughs> yeah... One Mark V belt will definitely be able to handle, even a Mark IV. What is a Mark IV? Is what, 480? Um, yes, 480 resources. Uh, we're just going to use the Mark Vs. Okay. Now, oh, that was the other one. It was the iron rods. I can't even remember what it, uh, we had. Oh, 12 per. So, 144 times, oh, open up. 144 times 12. That's 1728. What was it 2.19 I think it was or 2.2 I don't know 1728 divided by 780 2.2 okay so 
two and a quarter belts of iron plates come uh no 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 iron rods iron rods which are sitting over there okay so i've got to get this laid out and figured i'd bring the rods over first because uh since the reinforced iron plates are on one belt i can just have the um reinforced iron plates going through these upper connections right in through here and just keep the iron rods there on the bottom and let's see well uh, i don't know we'll just go to there for now Oop. one more please there we go okay now the fun part is going to be connecting all of this up Uh, let's see here. We can... I think we can go on this level. Yes, we can, because that is the exact level. Uh, no, oh, no. Ooh, it's one higher. <gasps> ooh. Okay. But we can still bring it all along here. And then we can take this and go to right there. And then we can boop, bump it up, and we'll be good. Hmm. Or do we bump it up right over there? Now nah, we'll do it right here. What the hell? Boom. Finished is better than perfect. Okay. Then we're going to have to bring all of this stuff along here. And, um, yeah, we could keep it maybe tight and go along one right here because the only thing the next thing we're gonna do is smart plating here and um, the smart plating will take reinforced iron plate and rotors and I'm actually thinking about doing it over up on top of here or maybe out here in this area above where we're gonna probably need more train stations maybe over there well anyways that I got to think about later. Right now, we just got to get this. Generally, we have the room. I'm not worried about that. Okay, so let's get um, hmm, the rotor or iron rods. <laughs> iron rods and reinforced iron plates. Okay, so we need these guys. Let's get two lines going here. Um, two and a quarter. Okay, so we're going to have those two guys coming out here. And if we want to keep it nice and tight, so we'll go right along here. And just for a reference, we'll keep it... Uh, what if we send it right down the middle? Yeah, uh, no, oh no. Okay, that will be a... Oh, there, a reference point there. And... Yeah. the reference point here so if we can kind of line it up right here you know what let's have their own dedicated lane right there and then these guys will go along there and see so we're gonna need 180 so we can pull off 180 from here and when oh you know what we'll just pull off the 180 from this line so that'll leave six left over and then we've got a full line of 195 right there okay so that's what we'll do so we can bring this guy up and we'll merge it Ooh, no no we, those are gonna have to be spaced out a little bit because if we go with the mergers see that's right there on the center line okay so if we put the merger um Right, we can do one there and one there yeah so we'll have to move these two and where are you guys at I just don't want to okay so they'll be somewhere along there I'll have to get this going Actually, let's do this. We'll put you right here in the middle of this one. And then the middle of uh, that one. Okay. 
then this um, go right there. Oh, oh man, got to reverse the direction. Ooh, nope. Okay, so we got to move it. Uh, maybe one more. You gonna put me right there? There it is. That's it. Okay, so then keep you nice and neat. do this. Nope, you're not going to let me. Okay, it automatically wanted to snap, so we'll come here to the center, back up two, and plumb it on in. Okay, there we go. Now this goes to there. Now comes the fun part. Okay, this is going to get... Ooh. Now the thing is, do we put a splitter up here? Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Um, wait, if we put a splitter up there, boom, it's going to come in. Oh, that one's going to have to get... Oh, that's going to be a funky mess. Okay, nope, we'll just do it right here. Um, so we'll... Pop your butt right uh, there. Now this, if we come in here, is this what we want? Um, yeah, because if we do that, take that in there, take this on up, and we'll have to go up two, boom, and then to merge it into this one, Oh, okay, we're going to have to go up a couple more. There. Got them both merged. All right, and then I um, uh, don't want to connect that up yet, quite yet. So, yeah. All right, 600 from this line, 600 from this line. Uh, 366 coming in here. It'll split it. Yep, 180 and 180. So 180 plus 600 is 780. Now these guys will come on down here. And we're almost there. Okay, and and this guy will. Um... Okay, we're gonna have to have a. <laughs> okay, for the iron rods, we're gonna have to have a splitter at each one of these. Okay, so if we want to keep it nice and neat, and we'll go. One there. Ooh, okay, so let, let, let's think about this for a second. Okay, we've got 18 assemblers. And 18 times 12 is 216 per row that is required. Let's just double check it. Yep, 12 iron rods per minute. So let's go with... Um, if we've got 780 divided by, oh, damn it. I am losing it, 18 times 12. 216, 216. Okay, so 780 divided by 216, that's 3.61 lanes it can handle. Okay, so there's one, two, three, 
0.6, so we'll put a merger here, and boom. Now this is going to require a splitter coming from that direction. And then we'll plop a belt right there. And then these guys will come into here. And then this belt, what will happen is we'll have iron rods come in here to this splitter. Boom, merge in here. And you know what? This is going to probably... Ooh, yeah, this is going to have to be a smart splitter. And let me plop this down here real quick and I'll explain my thought process. Because depending upon how everything is going, um, let's see, the overflow will go to the right and any will go straight. Because the priority will be for this line to feed it, the 0.61 going into this side. Then whatever it can't supply, this smart splitter will send it off in that direction. Because the priority will be to send things straight ahead and the, any leftovers to the right. Okay, that's the thought process on it. Okay, six, seven, oh man, we're gonna need, oh, we're gonna need, oh, oh, damn it. And thank you for everybody that was screaming that we still need to get over a quarter of a line. So 780, oh, um, times 0.25. So we're gonna need 195. Because we need a third line to come in here also. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. And we've got 195 right there. Okay. So let's get... Yeah, we can sneak you right by here. Well, that's what we'll do. Okay. There. Got the basics laid out. Um, I will go ahead and lay all this out and show everybody my results. I'll see you in two seconds. After working through the night, I believe everything is set. Only one way to find out and see if it's actually going to do it. Um, let's connect everything up and we'll see what the hell happens. All right, so get uh, those going. Oh, here goes all the machines. Okay, those two lines are going right down here. Yep, yep. Okay, now we need to get this line. Okay, so uh, let me get rid of that. And it should be a straight shot. Whoa! Into it. Yep. Okay. Iron rods are flowing. Ooh. And here was my solution. Oh, almost. Boom. There. Had to do things a little bit differently. Uh, brought these two up and over those two lanes and down. Well, this one, um, I had to pop underneath real quick. Boop, boop. And then come right back up. All right. Those iron rods, they are on the way. I have the cornerstone for the foundation right here. And this time, I actually did um, put the switch orientated the correct way. Oh, but I forgot to... Well, I had to change it again. So, all right. So, this is going to be modular frame main. I think. There we go. That eh, doesn't quite all fit in there, but, yep, yeah, it'll work. Okay. So, now, let's get the reinforced iron plates. And I put a display sign up here to show that it's 432 per minute coming into the facility Ooh, and I put a, another sign right here to remind me and that means we have 133 left over and uh, those uh, was smart plating well anyways okay they're 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 they are there to play with oh man Ooh, say that five times fast okay modular or reinforced <laughs> iron plates on the way all right, let's get on up here. Boom. All right, they're doing their thing. And they sh should be zipping through here. Come on. Oh, there, there we go. Okay. 
It'll be more noticeable when we get up here. There it is. Okay, iron rods made it. Wow. Reinforced iron plates. It's definitely going to take a bit. Okay, but let me come up here and show. Oh, and um, for all the eagled eye viewers, I believe it was this row where there was three that were off by one. I caught it when I was connecting the belts and I appreciate uh, the comments and also uh, screaming at the monitor that, hey, three of them are out of alignment. So yeah, I fixed it. So now everything is nice and neat. I'm pretty damn sure it was, I think it was the second group here of three. But either way, it's done. Oh my gosh, wow. It's gonna take a while for those modular frames to uh, saturate the belt. Okay, well, since the sun, or star, the star, because that might not be the sun, has uh, finally came up, um, I'm gonna go ahead, wait a few uh, minutes for all of this to get saturated. And then we'll go ahead and we'll flip the switch and see what in the hell happens. So, boom. I will park my butt right here. And when this finally stops moving, I'll come back. So I'll see everybody in two seconds. And just like that, it has stopped. Okay, now for good luck, I am popping open a Mountain Dew Major Melon. It's been a while since I've had one. Oh yeah, oh man. That's why I had to stay away from them. They're dangerously good. Okay, so let's get this thing fired up. Whoa. There we go, and Lamo. Let's see if we can make it down here before the first one comes out. Well, since I've seen the uh, first item come out of uh, one of these factories. Okay. Oh, come on. Where are you? Oh, yeah, what is it on this? Uh, 60, 60 seconds. Oh, oh, one minute to produce two of them. Okay. Oh, that means there's going to be a flood of them coming down. Oh, that's going to be sweet looking. Okay, boom. I'll park my butt right here. We'll see what happens. And there it goes. Holy crap. Didn't have to wait long for that one. Okay, so now where's row two? Here's, there's row number two. Ooh. Why aren't you flooding them out? <gasps> Okay, I'm getting kind of nervous. Three should be right behind it also. Okay. You didn't pump out a whole lot. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, did... Oh, because of the three that I disconnected. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. Well, I'll show you which three uh, did get uh, out of alignment. It was these three right here. Okay. Oh, and that means the rest of the factory wasn't connected either. Because I daisy chained them. I went down this way. And then down here at this one, it went over and went back up this row. And I daisy chained it over to there to that one. Okay, there we go. All right. Woo. Well, at least we got to see the first ones come out. Okay, so it's going to be another minute before the next batch hits. Uh, there's the first batch. We should, uh, yeah. Oh, and then I just split them off to come out here. And uh, that should be filling up shortly. I believe I have one, at least one storage container of modular frames over there on the other side. Uh, over there at our main base in storage. Um, but hey, those will be reserves for just whatever may happen or not happen. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Where are you? Where are you? Let's see how much time we've got. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah, there it is. 92%. All right. Let's watch him. Ooh, ooh, how about here? Oh, we'll see. Oh, there it is. Yes. Yes. Oh, here they come. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, so many are coming out. It's backing up now. I love it. Oh, it's stuttering. Oh, look at that. Love it. Oh. Okay, now. Oh, my God. <laughs> the reinforced iron plates. This, oh, my gosh. Okay, well. <laughs> we've got... Uh, uh, a belt of 780. All of these machines down here making these reinforced iron plates are backed up. And what is it? Stacks of 100, I believe. Uh, I believe it's stacks of 100. Yes, stacks of 100. So they're, oh uh, my gosh, what was that? 114 assemblers, I think. So yeah, we've got, we've got a, a bit of a backup for the 780 per minute of reinforced iron plates to go ahead, come out here and feed this 144 assemblers. Oh my God, this is so freaking cool. Oh, uh, yeah, love it. Oh my God, look at it, this is just, oh, they're just, you know what? We gotta see what it looks like with all of those coming in. Where's the next batch coming in? Oh, there's a few stragglers. There's a few more. There we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, the iron rods. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yep. See, there. It's gonna take a while for that to get saturated. Uh oh. Okay, they're coming in. Uh oh. Where's? The, uh oh, what happened to the iron rods? All right. Let's connect this thing back up. Uh oh. Uh oh. No iron rods backing up here yet. Oh, there's some backing up right there. What's it? Oh, that's right. These are in stacks of 200. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. Um, let's uh, go ahead and lay these out here. We'll go. Oh. Oh wow. Okay, so let's uh take it on. Oh, dang it. There we go. And, oh, that's why. Let's go back this way. And we'll take it back. Uh, I don't know, 25. Ooh. Damn it. And I forgot to do the game save again. So, flammo. And that's how you edit out a game save. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Let, let's do this one again. Um, what are we looking at? 11, 12. Okay, we'll go 20. We'll take it out 20. And we'll take it out. Oh, until we run out of materials. Okay, so boom. There it is. And the good thing is, with everything that's happening over here, we've got all of these iron plates in reserve, which I've been tapping into. Uh, these were all set for the original train station, so I disconnected them. To remind me which ones I could actually pull out of. Um, yeah, let's uh, pull out that much. Okay. And wow. I I did not imagine this factory to end up looking like this. I was just like, well, oh, let's just start building and see where it goes. Oh, this is so cool, so freaking cool. All right, so. Let's go here. We'll get some more out there. And we'll take it into there. And. Uh oh, so you're going to have to go over at least one more. So we can securely attach it into that cliff side. And we don't need anything right there. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so if we take this, boom. I, I just love the way the foundations clip into the rock formations. Oh, looks like we're gonna have to come out a couple more.
Come on, bring it on the rain. And I still haven't decided if I want to square this building off. Oh, I oh I am gonna have to bring this out. Again, just pure aesthetics. You know, this I'm gonna have to take out this way. But you know, make it a uh, finish off these foundations, and then make it set up like this, or have this here, you know, and then just run a. Uh, where's architecture? There we go. Boom, you know, and slap like a beam here and there, you know, and flap one right there. And this has got to come out too. I really like the belt work. So, again, do I, uh, you know, just random thoughts. So, here at least, boom. And take this guy, and of course we'd have to bring him from here all the way down. There we go. You know, and then take this up to here. And, oh, nope, how about from right there? There we go. You know, do I do something like that? And I don't even think, yeah, but see, part of this floor will have to be cut out here. So do I keep all of the foundations even and make it a cube? You know, but then I start thinking of the Borg from Star Trek and I don't, I, I might just have a bunch of jagged pockets and what have you with it. All right, again, random thoughts just going through my head. Oh, poopers. Oh, poopers. Oh, no. Oh. I know what I did. Wow. This line's not moving because this full belt is feeding the one, last one there on the end. Oh, and did I even... Oh, I didn't. Did I? Yes, there's a belt there. No, 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 no belt there. Wait. This is a smart splitter. Yes. Yep. Yeah, because... Oh, that's what it's going to do. It's going to fill all of that first and then send it off into that direction. Ooh. Then I've got all of this belt. Let's retrace this. I, you know, some more diagnostics and seeing what the hell is going on. So we got this one coming out. And yeah, that's... Uh, crappers. Okay, so I did, I, I'm did. i using way too much on this belt. Because this has got 180 coming from here. And it's taking it from this guy right here, which is 600 to give the 780 and that last line. So let's see, we've got uh, 18 times the 12. Yeah, it's only using 216 on that line. Okay. Yeah, and see, this one's only got 195 coming out. Damn it. Okay, I should have combined this line or that line into this one. Okay. I'm glad this is running so I can solve this problem. Okay, I'll uh, do a quick fix and I'll see everybody in two seconds. Oh, I just have to show off how cool this looks with all these lights going on. Now, this is my more elegant fix for this situation. Um, we do have 195 coming in on this line, but with all the machines that are backed up, uh, where is it, which line, oh yeah. Um, it's coming out of that first row, which is this row right here. Well, it's pumping out 780 currently. So 780 for right now is coming in, going into these three storage containers. So I siphon some off of this line boop, to go ahead and shoot it on up into here. And it's also currently pulling from this line down here. And it is filling up at, was it 1,560 per minute? And it is just, oh, I love it. Yes, okay. So, now here's the thing. Back over here where that last row is. Okay, let me, let me be back, let me be back. I'm getting ahead of myself. See, been running some numbers. Okay, so we were supposed to have 142.5 assemblers, but we have 144. So we got 1.5 too many. 
Okay, cool. So, 1.5 times 12 is 18. That's how many um, iron rods we need more currently is 18. Well, that last row was taking 216, but if we need 18 less to meet our quota, that's 198 per minute. With this line pumping out the 195, I figured, you know what? Let's build up a buffer a little bit. So let's go with uh, one storage container. Okay, well, in one storage container, there is 9,600 iron rods in there. So 9,600, oop, there we go. 9,600 divided by 60. Ooh, no, 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 sorry, oops. The deficit of three there is 3,200 minutes. 3,200 divided by 60 is 53.3333 hours. Well, guess what? 53.3333 times three storage containers, I'm gonna call that a 160 hour buffer right there. So, boom, we'll disconnect that one and we will hook that back up. There, so now it should be working out really damn good. And there's that game save again that I keep forgetting to do. Oh, well. All right, I will edit that out real quick. Okay, there we go. Now, I hope everybody's learning by uh, learning something new um, from all the mistakes that I've been doing during these big builds. It's, I've been enjoying this, man. It's just the logistics, the numbers, the oh crappers, the, oh, the good oh son of a bitch that worked and stuff like that. So, okay, let's go turn this thing back on. And there. Oh, let me get out of here. Oh, get out of here. There, thank you. Okay. There. Now everything should be working a little bit better. See, this is the 195 line right here. This guy. And, yeah, I couldn't get those storage containers in line because then it would be clipping this one. And I said, you know what? It's okay if it's not perfectly in alignment. And I've been getting better at uh, everything not being so perfectly nice and neat. So, uh, there we go. Okay. Now, this line with the 360, boom, it's still splitting, coming up, merging with that line, which is a 600, because these two lines over here are both 600 per minute. And then I got that one coming up there, merging in with that one, and shooting it on down the line. And I did get a storage array uh, buffer out of my system for now. <laughs> So, uh, it, it's not approaching those, you know, I don't know, hundreds and hundreds of storage containers that I put down for some stuff and had millions of items in there. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Okay, so, uh, let's see. Now, did this guy, oh, did I connect this thing back up? Yep, it's churning it out. Okay, there we go. Okay. What do we got in here? Oh, my gosh. Damn, that filled up fast. You know what? I'm going to add one more. Boom. There we go. Okay. So, oh, come on. Get up there. I, I, I have to ignore that Caterium node Ooh, for now. All right. There. Okay. I'm going to let this run for a few minutes and see what the hell happens. It should be coming out a little bit quicker now. And let's see. We were going after... Ah, crap. Uh, let me check the spreadsheet here real quick. It was... Uh, oh, t uh, no, that's not that. Where, is, where the hell is it? Oh, there it is. Two, well, uh, I think it was 285. There it is, 285 modular frames per minute. But in this current setup, we're going to be pumping out 288. I'm okay with that. But, uh, yeah. Oh, there. Okay, that problem solved. Okay. Well, I'll see everybody in a couple of seconds for the sign-off. After three hours and 15 minutes of letting this thing run and just uh, messing around with it, uh, trying to uh, see what smart splitters do and regular splitters do and what have you, it's working. Everybody has got everything. Belts are saturated. 
Ah, oh, it's such a relief. Now, what I did here on this, boom, I did a splitter, splitter, smart splitter to where any goes down that row and then the overflow goes out this way. Then I was like, you know what? Let me just try this. So I put a smart splitter, smart splitter, and one more right there. So this way, as we're looking at it uh, in this orientation, any goes to the right, overflow goes forward. Same with this one. Any to the right, overflow goes forward. Then when we get here to this one, same thing. Any to the right, overflow goes forward. It takes a little bit for this. There, boom. It got backed up and the overflow went that way. And I got to remind myself, these don't need to be fully saturated. It just needs this belt right here. It just needs 216 per minute to feed this line over here. So it's golden. We're good. And and now that I say that, we're going to go double check everything. <laughs> yeah. The, all of the assemblers are plugging away at it. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. This is... Yep, that belt's fully saturated with iron rods. And uh, that one still is. Okay, we're good. All right, let me double check how the other ones... It's been, uh, I'd probably say, about 20 minutes since I've checked uh, to see how the belts are doing. Yep, I'm looking at the iron rods, making sure everything's fully saturated. Yep. And how about on these two? Yes. They're saturated. And boom, come down here to this one. And then what I did is, uh, from over where uh, the space elevator is, boop, I brought over the reserves, popped them in, had to put in a second uh, um, industrial container. So the overflow, boom, goes into here. Right now, everything's being fed in there for the coupons. And what are we at now? Holy crap, 169,209 points per minute. Oh God, we're already up to 51 coupons. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with those. Maybe get some of the statues later on. Mm, I don't know, but we'll see, we'll see. But now, I'm gonna call this good. Ooh, yeah, that I was uh, just checking out uh, smart plating. Smart plating, uh, probably go over there in this area. Cover up some more stations. So, uh, boom. We're calling this good right here. In fact, let's do this. Oh, look at all those. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Okay. You know what? Let's do it. From this angle. Yeah, right about... I don't know. This might be middle. Somewhere in here. Actually, let's... Is the farting around? Everybody's getting a little sight seeing what's going on. There we go. Oh. Okay. Uh, get that out of there. There it is. All right. Thank you for joining me on this journey in Satisfactory. And as always, enjoy life and be safe. And drink the dew.